This is a bit that I have sometimes sort of been working on. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> that I have sort of sometimes been working on for most of my life. And this is my rendition of the story of the little red hat. Um, and that's boring. So, once upon a time, there was this little red hat just before her husband died, gave birth to her only biological child, a little chick, kid, thing. Abandoned by death, <laughs> and finding herself in a great state of misery and very fond of motherhood, she ended up adopting two other little children her, her child's own age. A little piggy kid and a little monkey kid. <laughs> So there's this little redhead and these three kids. A little chick kid, a little monkey kid, <laughs> and a little piggy kid. And one day, the little red hen decides, it's time I teach them a lesson. And so she went out and through hard labor, ended up collecting a certain sum of grain comes home to her three children, two adoptive, one biological. Walks in the door and says, I brought you something, kids. The little chicky kid who one day was going to be a mother. Just like the little red hen looks up, bright eyed. What did you bring us? The little piggy kid said, is it food? Can I eat it? Is that grain? Can you eat grain? The little monkey kid said, this is stupid. I hate this. I hate this. This is stupid. Why are you still talking? The little cheeky kid says, what is it, mom? The little red hand says, this is great. We're going to turn into bread. Right? You make grain into bread. Piggy kid, so you can't eat it. Well, there's a step between here and there. Little chicky kid wants to be a mother just like the little red hen someday. Teach me, teach me how to turn this shit into bread. Now, the mother says, who else is going to help me? Little piggy kid's like, I don't think so. Little monkey kid's like, this is stupid, I hate this. Why are you still talking? I want to watch TV. The little chick kid says, yeah, well, of course, let me help you. And the little chick kid and the little red hen go off to turn this grain into flour. They go off, they grind it into flour, and they come back. Little red hen says, I brought you something else, little chick kid, glowing in praise of her own mother. You brought something, but I was with you all day. What could you have possibly brought? Little piggy kid said, is it food? Can I eat it? Is it bread yet? Little monkey kid says, this is stupid. I hate this. I hate this. This is stupid. <laughs> Little chick kid says, what is it? What did you bring in spite of me being with you all day, somehow bringing something home? Little red hen says, idiot. We brought flour home. Oh, right. I see. Little piggy kid says, can you eat flour? Little monkey kid says, this is stupid. I hate this. Little red hen says, well, you turn this flower into bread. Little chicky kid's like, show me how to do it. Like, just already. It's just like, you don't know me in there, right? Little monkey kid's already, already going, this is stupid. I fucking hate this. Little piggy kid's like, I think about bread, and it makes me hungry. And when I get hungry, it makes me really grumpy. And you're making me feel really sad, and I want you to make that bread. It's like, so uh, what are we going to do to make this from this point forward? Just so I can have an idea. And the next thing's not going to be a surprise, because that was kind of a dirty trick. Mother well, says, well, we're going to take some of my eggs, which unfortunately never get fertilized anymore. 
we're going to get some water, and we're going to take this flour, and we're going to make it into bread. Little chicky kids think it sounds gross, but I'll help you. <laughs> little monkey kids just like silent in fury. And that little piggy kid, it's like it's not even words anymore. You go off into the kitchen in your own same house where these two kids are just fucking wasting time. And the little chicky kid and the little red hen make the bread. They come out of the kitchen. The fresh loaf of bread, totally unpanned, cool to the right degree. Little piggy kids like, eh, it looks like bread, it smells like bread, I want the bread, I'm getting the bread. Monkey kids just like, why isn't that in my face? And uh, little chicky kids just like, so can we eat it now? Is it bread now? <laughs> can we eat this now? All of a sudden, all three of them together, they're just like, can we have some now? Can we have some of the bread? Can we have some bread? Little, big, little piggy kid, please, please, you know, like last ditch ever, please let me have some bread. You're know, making me so angry, please give me some bread. Little monkey kid's like, oh, I want, I want some of that bread. I'll do anything for that bread. This is stupid and I hate it, but I really want some of that bread. Little chicky kid's just kind of like, please. <laughs> little red hand says, no, you can't have the bread, little piggy kid and little monkey kid. front of the little piggy kid and the little monkey kid, the little chicky kid and the little red hen, himself very self-contentedly, ate slice after slice of fresh bread, untoasted, straight from the oven and appropriately cooled, in front of the little piggy kid and the little monkey kid, who just looked on miserably. And there's just one more simple word. <laughs>